Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will gonna show you how to use AMD GPU to run Huiyuan model locally. I tested it on my AMD card 6700 XT. It has 12 gigabytes of VRAM. If you have it or you have a newer card with at least 12 gigabytes of VRAM, you should be able to run it. So that's great news for AMD GPU users. I have actually posted an article about how to do that. I will quickly go through it. So basically, you will need a GPU and you need at least 30 gigabytes of memory RAM in order to load the model. And also, you will need a big enough drive disk so in order to store those model files. And then the step is also very straightforward. You only need uh, the latest uh, comfy UI, either fresh install or upgrade. And uh, then there is an uh, official workflow from comfy UI. So if you go to their example page, you find the, the Huiyuan video model. And then it, there's instruction to download uh, several model files. So make sure that they are uh, downloaded and put into the correct uh, location so it's uh, for example one is in diffusion models another one in the texture encoders and then the VAE file goes to the VAE folder and uh, in terms of the workflow I tried it and uh, uploaded the one to my github repo you please grab that so this one the latest one Huiyuan video 12 GB you just need to click on that and then click uh, the there's a download raw file button and click that so able to get you the file okay and then all the only thing you need to do is to drag that file onto your comfy ui ui you want to tweak a little bit about how it affects the generating performance and the speed one is the size of the video so for example this one if you like use 100 by 400, it will be be really really slow. So probably take about 30 or 40 minutes. Also the steps. If you if you want to see if your system work, you can firstly decrease it to one to see how it works. Another thing I want to mention is that uh, sometimes the MP4 format, the output format, may have issue. So I recommend that you just do a WebM. And another another thing is here, there is the last step before the saving part is the VAE decode. So this one I recommend to decrease it to 64 if you don't have a really big VRAM, 64. And here I will change it to 420 to 430. And this one to 240. For the length, you can also decrease that a little bit. Now we have the 20, we have the width and the height, and then you can just enter your prompt. I will do this one. It will be just very simple. So now I can press the Q button to get things started. And let's see how the system goes. I will also to show you how much range used. I will start another console so you can get an idea about the RAM here. Okay, so so now I will press the Q button to start it. By the way, there is a update for the Comfy UI. So now they include a terminal logs right on your web UI, so you can see that very very easily. You you cannot modify anything here, but you can see them. I think that's quite a good thing. So the initial loading of the model may take a while. We'll be just be need to be patient. Yeah, as you can see on the terminal, we see that the RAM has been increased to seven gigabytes. And now we see on the terminal there is a progressing bar here shows there are twenty steps. Change it to the GPU. We see the GPU VRAM is at seventy six percent. GPU utilization is around ninety nine percent here. For the power, use almost the power cap, 176 watt. The total maximum is 194. We see that the progressing bar is one step completed, took around a half a minute. 
that's not really too bad. So I'm glad that it's probably better than expected. So I will just wait for it to complete. All right. So after 774 seconds, we completely generated the video using our AMD 6700 XT GPU. Wow. And this is the results. It's not uh, not really really high resolution, unfortunately. However, I think it's, it's still doable if you just uh, increase the size, and you can try. It probably take at least uh, thirty to fifty minutes. So I think if you are to like provide some very very like really good prompt, you will able to help you to create the video right there using your AMD GPU. Please feel free to give it a try and let me know how it goes. I think this is really, really good news for AMD GPU. Please uh, give it a thumb up, share it, and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support. I will see you next time. Goodbye.